two really easy ways to preserve all of those beautiful fall leaves. So we all probably know about the wax paper method, right? That you did in kindergarten where you put the leaves in between two pieces of wax paper and then iron it. Easy, awesome, but I have two new ways that I think are really special and fun. The first way is my favorite way because it involves melting wax. And all you need to do this method is a double boiler, which I easily made by just taking a pan, filling it about, mm, let's say, a third of the way full of water, and then a glass bowl on top of it so that the bottom of the bowl does not hit the water. That's your double boiler. So you make a double boiler like that, and then you go and find this golf wax that you can find in the grocery store. People use it for canning. I don't can, but if you're a canner, then you know what this is. And it comes in little squares like this. All you do is you take some water in your pan, boil it, right? Put your glass bowl on top, it starts to heat up, and then you just place your wax right into the double boiler, and with a wooden spoon, you just simply wait for it to melt. Once it's all melted, you basically take your leaves that you've collected in the neighborhood that I have flattened, that's a big part of this, down below are some pictures on how to flatten out your leaves. I did it overnight just to make sure my leaves were nice and flat. You just basically put it between some paper and then put a heavy object on it. So you take your flattened leaves, you hold it by the stem, and then you just dip your leaf right into the melted wax. Then you pull the leaf out, shake off the wax, and then hang it up to dry. The next method I thought was kind of interesting because I had never heard of it before and it involved an ingredient that I really didn't know about either. And that is pure glycerin. And here's what you do. You take your flattened leaves that you've flattened overnight, you get a little zippy bag like this, and then you put, if you flatten out your leaves, then you just put water in, half a cup of water, and a fourth of a cup of liquid glycerin. And then you lay it flat, zip up your bag so none escapes, and then you just let them soak. So after you've let these soak for about a week or so, they will be preserved. You'll just dry them out, and the colors on your leaves will be preserved. So here's what the wax leaves look like when they're all finished. As you can see, I just created a makeshift clothesline underneath my cabinets here with some painter's tape, some string, and some clothespins. And I put it right next to the stove so that when I was dipping my leaves into that hot wax and then dripping them off, I could just pin them right up here. I kind of think that it looks really cute as a garland just like this. I would hang this on my mantle. This is really my favorite method. I love the way these have a bit of a shine to them and they're just the right stiffness so that I could, you know, put them into a flower arrangement for Thanksgiving or what I'll probably do is just scatter them across my table. The best part is they're not going to dry up and these colors are going to be preserved all the way up until Thanksgiving.